And now, views and interviews from the world of technology. Coming up, Sky News Tech Talk with Krista Holliman. Hi, I'm James Park. I'm CEO and co-founder of Fitbit. We're based in San Francisco. We develop a line of health and fitness tracking products. We have two, mar uh, two products in the market today. Uh, one is an all-day tracking device that tracks your daily steps, calories, distance, and sleep quality. It's a device that you wear all day. Uh, it's wireless as well, so you wear it all day, you walk by a base station, the data syncs to our website, fitbit.com, and there you can see a lot of graphs about uh, how active you were throughout the day. You can compete with friends and family across a variety of metrics, like who's walked the most steps, etc. So it's a great way uh, for couch potatoes to get off and you know get a little bit more exercise into their day. Uh, we also make a second device called the Aria Wi-Fi Smart Scale. So in conjunction with their activity, we also allow people to track their weight and body fat using the scale automatically. So you step on the scale, the scale takes your measurements and automatically uploads all this data through Wi-Fi to Fitbit.com as well. So in one place you can see both your activity and your weight progress. Yeah, so the company has been around for about five years. Uh, my co-founder Eric Friedman and I started the company in early 2007. And the inspiration was uh, both of us have been entrepreneurs for quite a while and we were out of shape from years of doing startups, uh, me in particular. And at the same time, uh, I was one of the first people to buy a Nintendo Wii at Best Buy. Uh, waited at the store at 6 a.m. Uh, it was really cold and foggy and my wife was a great sport. Uh, but we bought, we bought the Wii, we took it home and we were just amazed by the way Nintendo had taken motion sensors and combined it with really incredible software to change the way people thought about gaming. It's no longer something that was sedentary or passive or negative, it was something that got people active within the house. And we started thinking, wow, could we take a lot of the benefits of that and put it into a more portable form so that people could reap those benefits outside of their home as well. So if you're a sedentary office worker, you know, being motivated to take those extra steps to work or around work, etc. So that was really the start of it. And how was the business funded? How Yeah, so the, the business was funded um, initially by a bunch of angel investors and uh, individual investors in the U.S. who had actually invested money in our previous startup and had done well. So they were the first backers in our company. And we had raised about four hundred thousand dollars in early two thousand seven to start the business, and that enabled us to build several prototypes. And we used the prototypes to build uh, to raise larger amounts of funding from venture capitalists uh, in Silicon Valley. And to date, we've raised about twenty three and a half million dollars. Sky News Tech Talk in association with First Tuesday, the UK's largest network for high growth technology companies and their investors. For free membership, visit firsttuesday.org.uk.